Motor racing is all about ultimate performance and if you want to reach the ultimate performance you need to adapt as much as possible everything to, uh, to the conditions and obviously the tie is one of these uh, uh, very important parameters as it is the interface between your car and the track. All the forces, moments and, and impressions from the track to the driver and from the driver to the track in the uh, reverse order. When you look at tyres, it's obvious sometimes that the, the, the tread are different. And the tread are different because the purpose of the tyres are different. Used on uh, tarmac, on uh, uh, gravel, or used when it's dry or when it's wet. So that's the reason why there is a difference between the, the treads uh, uh, amongst different types of tyres. We are a 125 years old company. Uh, 125 years ago, a veterinary invented the tyre not a motor, motorcycle or motor car engineer, a veterinary. And I think that tells you a lot. Maybe only a veterinary was uh, capable to invent something completely out of the box. The history of uh, motor racing in the last 125 years has been a history of adapting the car to the, the new uh, uh, performance of the tires or the tires to the new performance of the cars. And just to give one example, when these brakes came on the market, it was important to have a very good grip when you are braking, which was not the case before this invention. 125 years is a lot. What about the next 125 years? The challenges are in safety, performance and obviously efficiency because it's the trend of uh, today's uh, uh, industry. But I see a fourth very important uh, way to, to explore. It's communication. So I think the tire of the future will be what we call now smart, smart tire. This tire will be able to communicate with the driver, with the team manager, with the car and with the, the public. And this is something possible. It's not just an idea like that. It's possible because the sensors are becoming so small that this is uh, something we can envisage. But this is my point of view. What do you think?